How much effect on temperature do trees have? Let's talk about it today. So I've got my infrared laser thermometer and we're gonna check some temperatures of different areas such as asphalt, rock, mulch, grass, and under shade trees. It's a nice hot day today, about 103 degrees. However, there is some cloud cover high up in the sky that's keeping it from being full sun. So it's not exactly a, a perfect day to do this, but I think we'll still get some nice results. So let's start off in the parking lot. You know it's gonna be hot here. About 119 degrees, 120 degrees on the pavement. All right, let's try the grass. Uh, let's see, 97 degrees, 96 degrees. So we're already 12 or 13 degrees cooler just being on grass compared to the parking lot. All right, we've got some crushed granite here. So let's check that out, like a Xeriscape type bed. And we are at 117, so almost as hot as the pavement. All right, flower bed with mulch in full sun is 109, well, no, 114 degrees there. So almost as hot as the rock was. And finally, under an oak tree in the shade, a mulched bed is at 92 degrees, so we are way cooler underneath the shade tree. So let's talk about a few things. Let me show you those results in kind of a table form here so you can see the difference. And I do suspect that if we had had a full sun day, that these results might have been even a little bit more drastic, maybe five to 10 degrees hotter on the sunny areas compared to what they were today. But the simple fact is vegetation on the whole is going to drive down temperatures on a local area dramatically, whether that's a shade tree or even just having grass. I mean, we saw a huge difference in temperature just going from pavement to grass. So if you want it to be more comfortable around your home, if you want to save money on your energy bills, then having more vegetation and especially having trees around your home is going to make it so much nicer. Right now, standing under this tree, even though it's 103 degrees outside, really isn't that bad because I'm in the shade and I've got a breeze blowing through here. And whether or not you believe that the climate is changing or not, the simple truth is that every day, more and more parts of the earth are being covered with asphalt and concrete, which heats up so much more than our natural vegetation. And that's why we're seeing that the cities are just hotter than they used to be and they're staying hotter even at night because these temperatures will stay hot on these paved surfaces well into the night compared to natural vegetation. So if you want the short answer, plant some trees and we'll be a lot more comfortable.